we got a let, let's see what's going on i just finished watching raw with some people from my community i'm not gonna lie it was a it was a it was not a crazy show i mean the the i think they called the rope the rope match or whatever with a bull rope match with uh shinsuke and cody Rhodes was actually pretty uh nice to watch but overall even the beginning segment with drew mcintyre and seth rollins alongside cody it's just i don't know just i felt like that right there was probably set up probably a day or two ago but um the idea that seth rollins pretty much told cody i i need to face the best and the best right now and you're the best i don't know kind of felt forced like why would you care to say that you need to fight the best the idea is that you that guy you hold this new title and they got to come to you because you're the best but you know there's a lot of things going on it's a ring of emotions but let's get to the bigger thing that's going on here so pw insider along with other people like wrestle ops which i haven't pulled up here i have it on screen for you guys to see um shortly after it was reported that the rock is 100 performing in the ring at wrestlemania 40. that is all that it's a done deal and likely something that's going to be contractual and locked in as one of the milestones rock would be involved in as part of the tko board of directions deal see that right there i kind of knew and felt that it was just more than just pay-per-view buys or peacock subscriptions i would say or for for money grants or whatever the case you want to call it and i had a feeling that somewhat somewhere along the along the way it was part of a deal with the tko group in his new position um and it says here as i can see it says there is no scenario where rock is not wrestling roman reigns at the show unless something unforeseen happens like an injury so that pretty much kind of clears up a lot of our hopes and dreams and interests and whatever but uh i still have other ideas of what could happen you know so but first i want to know if you made it this far into the video what do you guys think about that um i had a feeling that it had to do with something contractual and that it just wasn't the rock saying hey i want to do another fight let's do this and it was gonna be that I, I i'm pretty shocked to see that that was a thing you know what could have happened was multiple things here and i'm gonna give you guys my quick take on it it could have been that whether or not the rock was gonna fight or not maybe it should have still been cody whether cody wins this title belt at you know wrestlemania you would think what happens with roman after like what like is it co officially collapsed he could come out probably the following weeks you know leading into this new year of course after mania he could discuss how he wants his rematch and really still talk about how he's the tribal chief and then as he continues to disrespect the family legacy then the rock could have appeared and it didn't have to be about a title match there's no stepping on anyone's toes because there's focuses on cody and whoever wins between rollins and if cody has the title he could do what he's doing and it can still be huge looks because then now the rock is addressing roman even though roman don't have the title belt so there's still some buzz going on for roman and that could have been right after mania if they would have played that kind of storyline correctly but we're not going to get that i also just seen here triple h retweeted kittle from the 49ers made a statement too you know talking about his thoughts maybe his you know quick opinions on um this whole the rock debacle with roman reigns and cody rhodes and i'll tell you guys shortly after why is this important too so starting off hot and i love it that is the question i've been wanting to ooh. so it's fun you see everything online and everyone's talking about we want cody or it's roman and the rock you know what i'm a huge cody rhodes fan i like roman reigns the rock a hey, he coined the term the people's tight end so i'm indebted to the rock huge fan of him honestly my dream would be like uh kind of a setup Roman shows up. I saw this online. Roman shows up, signs a contract. Cody's on the other side. The Rock referees. Wouldn't that be fun and special? Let's let's just let's make it fun and interesting. That was not my own idea, but I thought it was really cool. See something like that. I also thought about, and why it, it makes it seem kind of interesting is because Triple H goes ahead, he requotes it, retweets it, likes it, and says the people's tight end knows what's up. Dot dot dot. Having even Triple H say that, why would, how does the people's end, how does the people's tight end like know what's up? Why would Triple H even, that would be misleading, right? Wouldn't that cause a lot of buzz and people saying, wait a minute, so would the Rock referee? And that would be kind of crazy too, if Roman then tells him to stand down or whatever, or to not cause any conflict 
it would have been like on Thursday because Thursday's gonna be a huge day. All of a sudden, you think The Rock is gonna show up to say how he's gonna verse Roman because he never actually said it, and he comes in and goes, "Oh, oh, oh, you thought you thought the people was gonna fight you?" And no, he goes, "No, I'm gonna be a special guest referee to make sure that none of, no one else interferes in this match," and that would that would break through the roof. I think we need that for guys like myself to be shut up. You know why? Because we all went off and felt like this was the most shittiest idea decision made ever. And you know what? I think with the rock special guest refereeing would then cause conflict because then if Cody Rhodes wins later on within the weeks, Roman Reigns returns, complains, rants, and now says, I want to go up against the rock. And now that gives a little bit of part-time, whatever you want to call it for them, to go up against each other. We could bounce back and forth between pay-per-views for them while Cody Rhodes has the shine of his title and everything. So now I'm really, really, really interested to see where the fuck are they gonna go with this? This is now even huge, bigger than what I thought. Um, And if this happens, I'm gonna just apologize for the rock, all of us ourselves, because then that means this was definitely a work and wow, it just sucks because again, PW Insider and Russell Ops have put out there that this is 100% a thing for The Rock and this was a signed deal. But I really hope, but daddy, I love him, that's weird. But um, I would really hope that that would be game changing. That's literally life changing of a shock for everyone, the fans. So let me know what you guys think. I, I would hope for both of those outcomes. Um, Drew McIntyre came in with his side of it and he said some slick shit too. And I'm like, there's too much slick shit going on. Drew McIntyre said your stories, this and that, because you know, every time a Samoan family member steps in, it's like, there's too much obviousness. And I don't think they would allow the wrestlers to go that far serious out in the ring if it was really gonna create too much controversy, too much negativity towards the brand. I feel like we're gonna get, we're gonna get stunned. We might get stunned. It might be a culture shock to everybody with, the, with this decision. So honestly, I, I'm really stoked for Thursday. So make sure you guys tune into the Twitch. We might be doing this live or tune into the uh, gaming channel, anything. This channel, subscribe if you're new. We got to really check this out. But, you know, it's your boy. It's been, it's your boy 3G. It's been a, a great time. We're almost at 50K. I want to just say I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Um, shit, man, I'm excited. I'm excited, man. But I love y'all. God bless. And we out of here.